The first of three cores to be announced today, I am proud to uh, announce the successor of the Core 110. Uh, we like to call it the Core 24F. With twice the amount of power, new onboard features, and an increased capability to, to drive networked I.O. Uh, let's flip this one around. Let's go from my, your left to right. Uh, eight channels in, eight channels out, eight channels flex. So you get to decide what those eight channels do. Um, I'm hoping that there's a roar of applaud. We, the eight by eight GPIO that had to go away during the pandemic due to uh, supply chain issues, eight by eight GPIO is back. Um, alongside that, RS-232. We've upgraded the AV to USB bridge with a USB-C uh, port. And we've increased the number of network ports so that you can allow whatever kind of uh, parsing that you want for QLAN versus your control data versus whatever kind of redundancy that you want to introduce to your system. So those ports on the back are gonna look really familiar to anyone who's already been working with the Core 110F, right? And that's by design, you know, if you are gonna be retrofitting a room and upgrading to the 24F, well, all the connections are still there, but we've got more processing power now, right? A lot of the audio channels on the network have become more digital over the years. So while there are still the analog connections, we are expecting you to be using more IO on the network, which is why these stats are the way they are, which I'm blocking right over here, right? So like we said, two times the processing power of the Core 110F, which is about four times the processing power of a Core Nano. We've got an increase in the network I.O. capacity from 128 by 128 to 160 by 160. You're all reading the stats behind me, so you're, you're ahead of me here, right? Uh, AEC channels up to 24 uh, from 16. That's at a 200 millisecond tail length. Uh, we've got increased uh, Dante capacity, twice the Dante capacity, more peripherals, all the good stuff. The most important thing is right there, the screen on the front is back as well, right? So the screen that also disappeared during the pandemic. Once again, if you need to go up to that car and hit the ID button or cycle through, find the name, find the IP address, I'm very glad that one's back. All right. So that literally would have been enough to designate a full activate. Yeah, we're done. Um, but there are, there are like eight or nine more things that we had to introduce. So and Two of them are cores. Uh, uh, the next thing that we're going to introduce is a full new tier of cores um, that are going to fill out that portfolio and address those medium to large size uh, installations. Uh, we call it the X-Class. So the X-Class, like Patrick just talked about, is designed to give you the proper options as you scale up from a room that could be appropriate from the 24F, go a little bit higher, then you're gonna be using the Server Core X10. Uh, now the X10 and the X20R, which is the third one, these are both built on enterprise grade server hardware, all right? So this is designed to do centralized processing rather than put the core in the room. It's gonna live in a rack where everything's directed to, and then it manages all of the processing for your, your room, your multi-room, your, 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 your floors, whatever it is. Uh, now, obviously, they're all going to be using the same Acusis Core operating system. The Core uh, X20R uh, is a little bit different. It, that one's built on a Dell server hardware. A little extra benefit for there. This is the X10. Oh, oh that's the X10. Where's the... Where, oh, I'm, so you want stats first. Here's the X10 stats, network, uh, IO 256 by 256. AEC channels go all the way up to 64. Uh, and Dante channels 128 by 128. And the X20R is the one that's built on the Dell uh, server hardware. And one of the benefits of operating as the Dell server is that you get some of these more uh, IT-focused uh, features, such as a redundant power supply, which is what the R stands for in this instance. The two power supplies on the back, hot swappable, things for redundancy if your power happens to go down.